Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I am just thrilled to bring you this next series called Reset Your Age. I wanna show you the science behind why fasting slows the aging process down. So depending on when you're watching it, it is the month of October. This is my birthday month. I turned 50 this month. Many of the things that I'm gonna teach you in this series, I've been applying to myself to get better memory, to get better energy, to keep my immune system strong, to balance my hormones. So I wanna, over the next couple of weeks, show you the science behind how you can slow aging down just by fasting alone. So get ready, this is a good one. Okay, you guys, I really want to bring you a cool study that happened this year that talked about aging and how fasting can slow the aging process down. And with that, I want it to explain to you why this is happening, what hour, I know so many of you guys wanna know, like at what hour do all these amazing chemicals kick in? And I wanna show you how many of the things that we start to suffer with as we get older, the memory, the mood changes, the weight gain, the blood pressure, cholesterol, the joint pain, arthritis, like all those things. I wanna to start to teach you how fasting can not only reverse those situations, um, but in many cases, you can actually prevent many of those situations from happening. So get ready, there's a lot of science in here, but as usual, I'm gonna break it down for you. And this is a beginning, by the way, of a series of several videos that I'm gonna do on resetting your age. So get ready, ready? Okay, let's start with this idea. When you stop making, putting sugar in your mouth, so any kind of food at all, you start to bring your glucose down. So your glucose starts coming down. When that glucose comes down, again, our brains, our bodies are so smart that our body goes, oh, okay, there's no more glucose coming in. I'm going to go find the stuff that I stored. We've talked about that a lot here on this station. So your, your body will move into something called glycogen and it will start to break down glycogen to release glucose into your bloodstream. So we call that, you guys might know this as fat adapted. This is the moment when your body starts to become more fat adapted. When you're, when you're going after that stored glucose, the, it, it, again, the name is glycogen. When we go after that stored glucose, what a, a signal of that is the ketones. Your ketones are starting to go up. So the body is switching its fuel source. As ketones go up, the longer you're in a state of ketosis, your body still has to make sugar. It has no sugar coming in. So it starts to reach for the third phase, which is called gl gluconeogenesis. So this is where your body is making glucose out of different materials that it has access to inside the body. So glucose is just the food you're eating, glycogen is your stored sugars, and this is where your intelligent body is starting to make new sugar. And it puts it into the bloodstream. Now, in the process of gluconeogenesis, what ends up happening here, and this is part of the study on aging, is that they're finding that there are metabolites that are being upregulated. And metabolites, you know, uh, those of you who have done a Dutch test with me, you've heard me talk about, or you've seen some of my, my discussions on hormones. We have estrogen metabolites. These are metabolites that make estrogen. Um, we have metabolites, and the ones done in this study, that make help us make energy. So when you've been fasting, and the, the study was done on anywhere from 34 to 58 hours, Okay, so I know a lot of you are like, okay, when do I make these metabolites? It kicks in somewhere between 34 to 58 hours. Your body goes into gluconeogenesis and it starts to make metabolites. And what they found in the study is that it, we, they found 44 metabolites that are made starting at 34 hours. And these metabolites were upregulated anywhere from a one and a half times the normal amount all the way up to 60 times the normal amount. And so when these metabolites got made, these 44 metabolites that they're measuring are all metabolites that go in and they control your something called your Krebs cycle. 
So hang in there with me because I want you to understand this. You don't have to be a, a scientist to really appreciate and understand what is going on, the miracles that are going on with fasting. So these metabolites get kick in, it go, these, they go into the Krebs cycle and the Krebs cycle is the cycle that's inside your mitochondria that produce energy. And now you start having more energy for healing. You have more energy to fight infections. You have more brain energy. You have more energy to move around. Um, I, I really uh, say that here I sit almost 50 years old, I have more energy, better mental clarity that I right now at 50 than I did at 40. And so much of that has to do with working the system. I put my body in these longer fasts on a regular basis so that I'm accessing gluconeogenesis. I'm getting these metabolites to be secreted and they're going into the Krebs cycle and they're starting to give me more energy. They're giving me more energy for everything. So this study that came out, what they found is that there were more metabolites than they had originally thought. These metabolites not only improved the Krebs cycle, but they also were metabolites that helped with antioxidant production. So we know antioxidant production, it, when you upregulate your antioxidants, you stop free radical damage of your cells and you end up with healthier cells. So really cool study out of Japan. It was print, it was done, depending on when you're watching this video, it was done in 2019, uh, February of 2019. They did, it was, uh, by the way, originally they had done studies on aging um, in mice, and this was the first human study. It was only done on four people. And um, they say at the bottom of the study, it looks really promising. We should look into it. Um, on more people. And wouldn't that be cool if we had a bigger study like that? But the thing I want you guys to realize is that as you go to step into um, a using fasting as a tool to reverse aging is I want you to understand why it's working. Because once you get why it's working, then you can start to plug in, like I'm gonna do a whole series on memory and mood, and we'll talk about blood pressure. There's amazing um, research on how fasting can lower blood pressure. We have uh, arthritis, how fasting can stop arthritis. So I'm gonna bring that all to you, but on this first video, I want you to understand it's in this gluconeogenesis. This is where the anti-aging effect starts because we're starting to see a change in these metabolites. So I know we're gonna get this question, so I'm just gonna kinda bring it out now is like, well, how long do I need to fast? And I talked about this earlier in this video. How long do I need to fast to get to gluconeogenesis? How can I measure if I'm in gluconeogenesis? So this study was done on from 34 to 58 hours. So um, it, it, most of the people, they were hospitalized, they were contained, so they, they couldn't eat. They contained how much water they gave them. They contained how much stimulation they gave them. So it was a pretty good controlled study. And they kept them fasting for 58 hours. They saw some of the metabolites of the 44 were started to kick in at 34 hours. Some of the metabolites had just a one and a half times increase and some of them had as many as 60. The study didn't say which ones. But for your knowledge, I want you to understand that going to the 34 hour mark, going to the 58 hour mark, if you want to reverse aging, it's really important that you start to extend some of those fasts. So, and as I go through these different topics over the next couple of weeks, um, you just remember that the length of your fast does make a difference because it makes a difference in what your how your body reacts. So when we're given glucose all the time, the body doesn't have to tap into these really cool self-healing capabilities. It doesn't have to go there. So when we take a glucose out of the picture, so many of you come to fasting because what you're doing is you're starting to go for those glycogen stores, the body's starting to burn fat, and you're like, this is great, I'm losing fat. But what I want to encourage you to do is to go one step further. Let's, let's dive into gluconeogenesis. Let's get into this area where we can really start to see changes in our joint health. Let's start seeing changes in our skin. Let's start seeing changes in the, the neurons in our brain. 
Those are the kind of things where fasting just gets incredibly miraculous. So I'm, I hope that helps. As always, give me feedback if this is making sense. Know that this is the beginning of one video of a series called Reset Your Age. And we're gonna dive in to all the different things that bog us down um, when we age, the things that hold us back from living the most vibrant life that we can. If you have something that you're dealing with, with aging that is just driving you crazy, you'd like to stop it, you'd like to slow it down, you wanna know if fasting can help it, just put it in the comments and we'll make sure that we include it in this series and that you get the information on it. There's so much incredible research out there right now on fasting. It's, it's, it's incredible. And I wanna break it down for you so that you understand it. Um, if you're coming to fasting to, uh, to slow the aging process down, because you can do it. You can absolutely use this as an incredible tool, not only to lose weight, not only to stay vibrant, not only to stay off medications, not only to feel your best, but we can slow that darn aging process down. So let me know what you want to hear on as I do this series. Stay to be sure you subscribe because I'm going to, like I said, I got five videos coming your way. Um, and I'm just so excited to bring this to you. And as always, I hope that helps.